What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. For those that are new here, my name is Eric and this is my 2022 M340i xDrive. And in today's video, we're going to be installing a Tactic Motorsports air intake for the B58 Gen 2 that fits Supra and G-Series BMWs. We're going to go get some sound clips from inside the cabin and let you guys hear the stock intake before we go back to the shop and install the new one. I hope you guys can hear that pretty good. There is definitely like a sucking, whooshing sound that you get with the valves closed. If you have a stock exhaust, you can hear it. If your car is tuned especially, that induction noise is a little bit louder. I did notice a little bit more of that after the JB4, and I think that's just obviously from running a higher boost level. Go ahead and head back to the shop. All right, guys, we got the car pulled in. Let's go ahead and get underneath the hood. We're gonna get the stock intake out. We'll bring it over to the table and show it to you guys compared to the new intake. We'll get that one all put together and put back into the car and we'll let you guys hear what it sounds like. All right guys, so the first step to getting this out is removing this mass airflow sensor plug right here. We're gonna release the clip, push down, be able to pull that out. Next thing we're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver to be able to remove this clamp right here. We're just gonna be separating this lower section once that's popped off, we're going to go ahead and pull the air intake up. So you can just pull it straight up and the whole thing will come out. The next thing we're going to do is get this lower section off right here. Down here, there is a one time use clamp and you just got to go ahead and pry that off. And then if you want to put this back in in the future, you can just go ahead and use the clamps from the Tactic Motorsport kit. All right, guys, this is a little bit of a better view. You can see this one time use clamp right here. So just like that, that was released. We can go ahead and grab that. And then this piece will just come right off and separate from the lower section. And that's where we're gonna install our new intake. All right, guys, let's go over all the pieces of the Tactic Motorsport air intake kit. So over here, we have the main pieces. And then this is all of the hardware that's gonna be included in order to put this into your car. So right here, we have the main section of the heat shield for the air intake. This is the actual cover for the air intake. We have the air filter. We have a silicone coupler, as well as a section to mount the mass airflow sensor right here. So we're gonna start with these larger rubber pieces. You have two different lengths. The shorter one is going to go onto the lid. So we're just gonna be snapping this into place. This other large rubber piece is actually gonna go inside of this hole right here. So we're gonna start by feeding this in. So now that that's all the way around, it's nice and protected on the inside. The next thing we're gonna do is take these two smaller seals. These are also gonna go on the heat shield. So this longer one is gonna start right here at the front where this bracket is. We're gonna be putting this right here along the bottom of these rivets. This smaller section right here is just gonna continue on this backside. We're gonna be starting this at the top right here and going all the way down. And it's gonna end right there where that opening is, looking just like that. All right, guys, so we have the stock air intake here. The only thing we're actually gonna need off of this is the MAF sensor right here. There's two T20s that hold this in. 
When you take this out, you wanna be really careful not to touch or bang it on anything. So we're gonna take it out directly, set it into the new one, and we're gonna be using the new supplied hardware to install it into this air intake. It does also come with all of the supplied hardware you're gonna to need to mount this entire kit into the car. So we're gonna take this heat shield over there and get started by mounting this into the car first, and then we'll move on to the next pieces. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna be installing, like I said, is this heat shield. So you can see that this actually slots down in here and will sit on this grommet right here. I'm actually going to move this part of the heat shield out just a little bit because I want that to be on the outside of this rubber so that this rubber can sit right down on the frame rail and completely seal this off. This is the hardware we're gonna be using for this grommet right here. This is a 12 mil bolt and a 13 millimeter nut. We're gonna put a washer on both sides and just go ahead and slot this down into this grommet hole right there. Before I tighten that down, we're gonna go ahead and throw this bolt and this nut into here. These are both 10 millimeters. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take our coupler and these two clamps. We're just gonna slide these over so that they are on here and ready to go when we need them. I'm gonna keep both of these facing the same direction. And that direction is gonna be this way right here where you have an opening to get a wrench into both of these. We're just gonna slide this on, making sure these don't fall off on the way down. All right, guys, when you're putting this in, keep this rolled side up and the flat side is going to go down into the coupler. All right, guys, now that that is in place, we're going to leave this upper clamp loose. We're going to get the air filter and slide it on right here and then we'll tighten both of those up. So we're gonna be using an eight millimeter again to tighten both of these clamps. All right guys, so once both of those clamps are tightened down, we're gonna go ahead and reconnect the MAF right here, pushing that in and then locking the clip. And now we're gonna take our supplied hardware and we're gonna install the top cover for the intake. All right guys, so the hardware we're gonna be using for the top is a two millimeter or a T10 bolt. And we're gonna be putting these in to the heat shield Just like that, we're done. All right, guys, it got a little bit late last night while we were doing the install. We're back, we're at my home garage. We're gonna be taking the car out this morning with the camera inside. So let's head out, get some sounds of the intake. 